This is San Diego's News Channel, KUSI News. Coming up here on Good Morning San Diego, we're going to talk to the La Jolla Institute for Allergy and, Immuno and Immunology. This is all about their advances towards a first ever vaccine for the infectious cause of congenital birth defects. It sounds confusing, yeah. but we'll find out about it. Well, researchers at the La Jolla Institute have made some advances toward a first ever vaccine for the infectious cause of uh, congenital birth defects. Associate Professor from the La Jolla Institute for Allergy and Immunology, Chris Benedict is here to talk about this. Uh, it has a long name, cytomegalovirus, is that right? Yeah, that's right actually, cytomegalovirus, or CMV for short, mm -hmm. uh, is a virus that most people have never heard of, but actually infects more than half of us here in San say, Diego. I was gonna say, a lot of people have this, don't they? Yes, yes, and I mean, in fact, more than half of us in San Diego and, and, and around the country have been infected with CMV. So why is it important to fight it? So the reason that it's important to fight it is because CMV, it, it really doesn't cause a problem in those of us who have a healthy immune system, sure. for instance. But the problem that CMV causes is in people who have a weakened immune system. For instance, uh, like you led with, with uh, the number one infectious cause of birth defects. Birth defects. Right, when CMV infects a baby developing in the womb, for instance, mm -hmm. That is a major problem because that baby doesn't have an intact immune system. And then that's the reason why uh, CMV can cause uh, problems in, in, in those babies. So it is, it is important to identify the people who have the virus and now you may have a way to fight it. Yes, so the discovery that we've made, actually, CMV is a very big virus. Okay. So, for instance, we think it has more than 700 genes. And that... Makes it harder to fight, too. Yeah, ex exactly, because that contrasts, for instance, with the flu, which everyone has heard of. Sure. That virus has nine genes. Okay. So, what we've actually done in the laboratory is to sort of pinpoint one of these 700 genes that uh, does a very good job at sort of cloaking the virus and tricking out our immune system and avoiding it from being uh, killed or cleared from so us. So I, I, this is an oversimplification, oversimplification, but the theory then is if you found a mother who is pregnant and you identify that she has this virus, you can begin to fight this virus before it affects the child. Yeah, that's, th that, that's right. And in fact, maybe even uh, the more dangerous case is that if we have a mother who hasn't been infected with this virus before, because remember, half of us are infected early in life that's and right. half of us aren't. And so if you have a mother who hasn't been infected and she's pregnant, uh, that mother would be the most at risk. If she gets infected during pregnancy, then the virus could potentially then infect the developing baby, mm -hmm. of course, a very innocent case, and cause the problems that we had that we talked How about. How long have you guys been working on this? So in my lab, I've been working on this virus for over 15 years now. Wow. And it's, it's very well known in the medical community that this virus causes problems. Mm -hmm. um, and in fact, it's been on the, on the lead of the National Institute of Medicine to develop a vaccine for over 15 years I can, now. I can imagine it's frustrating for someone who is is looking at this possibility and, and has the virus but there's no way to fight it until now is this something that's already out there or is it just still in the testing stage yeah so um, like all vaccine developments it's mm -hmm. a relatively slow process but one very good news about about CMV is that there are, have been a number of groups that have been really pushing to develop CMV vaccines and there are some promising early stage results in phase one and phase two clinical trials mm -hmm. and we are really hoping that the discovery that we may maybe will will facilitate that and and, and help uh, um, sort of push the development of a better more effective vaccine so I, I imagine there's a lot of people sitting around this morning hearing this going I wonder if I have it I wonder if I should check I'm thinking about getting pregnant I am pregnant uh, I mean this is going to raise a lot of questions is there some place they can go in general for information just to get an idea obviously their physician is the most important place I would think sure um, and uh, for instance the Center for Disease Control has a lot of information on their go. website site about about CMB and in fact there are several um, sort of uh, websites that have been started. Um, one is called StopCMV.org, for instance, started by a woman, Janelle Green, who unfortunately her twins were affected by oh, wow. congenital CMV infection, and she's a really good advocate to sort of get information out to the public about this. An exciting uh, find. Uh, again, Chris Benedict uh, from the La Jolla Institute for Allergy and Immunology. I appreciate you being here this morning, giving Thanks. us some hope. Thank you very much for having right. me.